Hi everyone, wanted to share with you a suitcase that I created and this is using this die cut right here. Um, I had made a journal book using this die cut and I thought it would be really fun to make an actual um, suitcase. And I really love the size of this die cut and it's uh, 10 inches in width um, by 8 inches in height and I'll share with you all the different angles. So this is the front cover and then here we have the top and I love how you can hold it like a suitcase and it's just really cute and then here's the sides and then here's the back and then you can see here in the bottom so it was really um, fun to make and then right here on the top I add this uh, shipping tag here that I adhered some design paper on top and then I add a sticker that says time flies and then the inside I just left it blank so I'm going to put some journaling I just dressed all the edges of everything using the brush corduroy and then I tied it with this winter white seam binding and just created a little bow and then I add this cute charm that I got from Velma thank you Velma it has a um, pretty crown in the center and this really cute bow on the top and I hung it using a uh, Tim Holtz little mini safety pin and then on the sides here, this is typically where the um, straps to the suitcase would be. I add this really pretty um, trim that I got from Jan. Thank you, Jan. And it just wraps all the way around and then all the way up to the back. And I do that to both sides. And then I add the bling buckle. And then I add an Iron Roses flower on top. On this side, I add a Eiffel Tower and I adhere the design paper onto some medium weight chipboard and then I add this gorgeous flower that I got from Rena. Thank you Rena. it's so pretty and it, it just went perfect with this um, paper collection and then I add some Iron Roses flower here and some crocheted flowers and this is a gorgeous handmade spray that Kelly had given me. Thank you Kelly um, I just love it and then she given me this adorable butterfly and I just love how it just sparkles it's so pretty and then um, that's the cover oh and then right here I add the sticker from the collection which I adhere to some medium weight chipboard and it says making each moment into memories so that's um, the front of the suitcase and then of course it opens up and you can put a mini book inside so first let me share with you right here. Um, here I add this um, really pretty lace trim. It was a really nice size trim so I made it into a pocket and then I added Carla's medium flower trim all the way around and then inside I made um, this dress and this is using my custom um, dress form die. All I did was just snip the bottom of the stand and then it creates a really cute dress and that's when um, I was designing this this custom die that when I made the dress form I wanted it also to if I were to cut the bottom piece of the stand it would create a really cute dress and so I made a dress using the design paper some um, whiteboard and then some pearls and then this is a green pretty satin bow and then I add this really pretty um, a vintage trim on the bottom as a skirt and then right here I add this cute little mirror that I found at Michael's thought it would be really cute to add and then these are just some die cuts from um, the collection I can use these as photo mats and place my girls pictures on here and then it just tucks in right here and this die cut came with another um, die which was the pages to the suitcase so all I did was cut the design paper and then just adhered it in the um, center right here and then here I created this little flap here and that's my closure to my suitcase and then inside is the mini book so this book is a really nice size it's um, seven and a half by six um, I did use a bigger um, O-wires which is a three and a quarter 
Um, but I would normally use smaller ones, but because I add so much embellishment to my book, I had to use bigger wires. Um, but if you're going to make it um, this size, I would probably recommend to make the pages maybe a little bit smaller um, because as you can see, it's, it's a really snug fit um, into the box. So um, when it closes, it just um, sticks out just a teeny bit. So I would probably make the book a little bit um, smaller if you're going to use the bigger wires. Um, but it does fit inside, and so it just, you know, closes like that. And so that's, you know, the suitcase. And then here's the book. Um, I used it's a medium weight chipboard, and I used the 8x8 eight eight paper pad. Um, because it had 10 designs on that pad, I only made five pages. So I add some of this um, tool right here, and then a die cut from the collection, and then these are Carlos flower trim. And I really love it. You know, really simple, but then I was still able to, again, add some dimension to it. Um, that's what was nice about the suitcase. It's large enough to where I can at least add some dimension to my pages. This one I kept simple. Um, I really love the flowers on here. And then I add some pictures of me and my girls. So I went from the oldest to the youngest. So here's Ariana and I. And again, I layered a lot of the die cuts from the collection. Add some bling, some Iron Roses flowers, Prima trim. This is some of the flower die cuts from that um, die cut pack. And then this is a sticker that I adhere to the uh, medium weight chipboard. It says you and me. And then this is a bird using the um, Jenny Boland Fiskers Punch. And then I just add a bling for the eye. And then on Natalie's page, I use the antique papery collection. And then I just layered that. And then I again layered some more of the doily and the flowers back here. And then here's some more of the flower die cuts. This is another sticker that says these are the happiest moments. Again, I adhered it to medium weight chipboard. And then this page is of me and Maddie, and then she's holding Princess. Again, lots of layering. Um, this is another sticker, which I adhere to, medium weight chipboard, and some more Iron Roses flowers. I love these file um, embellishments from um, the collection. You can put a photo back here, and um, it's just really cute. You can even create this yourself if you have uh, this file folder die. All you would have to do is just take um, the movers and shapers die and just place it and then you can create your own little window. Um, it would be really cute or you can use any of the movers and shapers and place it onto this file folder and you got yourself one just like this. And then um, this is a die cut right here. And then all the pages are distressed with the um, brushed corduroy. And then here's another page using again some of the um, die cuts from the collection. And then this is of me and Ashley, and that says everything grows better with love. And then again, adhere to some medium weight chipboard, um, some flower die cuts. This is a photo mat that was part of the collection. This Eiffel Tower is from the antique papery. And then I add a trim and then some more Carlos um, flower trim. And then the back, I add this sticker that has a key and it says my heart. So the key kind of coordinates with this key that's on the front of the suitcase. So that's the mini album. I'm really fun and again I really love the size and you can use any shape of die cut to put inside the suitcase. Um, as you can see it fits a really um, large size die cut and I really had fun making this. So it just goes in like that and then it just closes like that and then you got yourself a really cute suitcase. And again, the die cuts will be um, to the suitcase available on my blog, and I'll have the link to my blog down below. And then now I'm just going to really show you quickly how to uh, make this real quick. So here are the die cuts. I'm using just some blackboard, but the, um, the kit that you, the die cuts that you're going to get is with medium weight chipboard. And you'll get six of them. So you can make three of these suitcases if you want. If you don't want to make um, the, the suitcase, you also have the option to make a full mini album with all six of the pages if you want to do it that way. And then you're going to need 
two um, four by eight pieces of, I use the uh, white board for mine, and this is just craft cardstock. Again, this is just for, you know, showing you how to put it together. And you're going to score it at two inches. So it's four by eight and score it at two. Okay, and you'll need two of those. And then this is the main piece. So this is ten and a half by twelve. And you're going to score each side at two inches. Okay, so this is 12, this is 10 and a half. So on the 10 and a half side, you're gonna score it at two, and then eight and a half. And then on the 12 side, you're gonna score it at two, and then at 10, okay? And then what you're gonna do is, you're gonna cut the, these ends right here, okay, up to the two inch score line. So let's go ahead and cut that. I went ahead and, um, pre-fold and uh, scored the lines here to make this video go a little faster. And we're just going to cut it there. This was really um, quick and easy to make. I made sure when I was designing this to make the dimensions um, really easy to remember and um, that's what's you know great about um, designing it. So let's get the ATG gun here. But I, again, if you're going to put a mini album, I would recommend Redline Sticky Tape. And so I'm just going to go ahead and add some adhesive here. You want to make sure that it's completely covered when you're creating this. I'm just going to make three lines. And what I did to mine was, because I used the whiteboard, I took some of the design paper and I lined the inside. So you could do that too. Now we're just going to go ahead and fold the box. And you want to make sure that it's all lined up. I'm going to cut this a little bit more. Gonna, oops, make sure I'm in frame here. Line that up. So you want to make sure you cut it completely, otherwise it won't line up. You want to make sure the ends and the top match up together. And the last one here. Okay, so you've got your box. And then I just kind of like adjust it a little bit to make sure that, you know, it's all nice and straight. And then we're going to go ahead and pre-fold these ones. So just fold it in half, like so. Same with this one. Okay, now the way I designed this was I wanted the box to fit exactly into these perforated lines. And that's what I use basically as my guide. Now, if you're going to cover this um, with some design paper, of course the perforated lines are going to disappear. So what you're going to do is, I, um, let's see here, I created a template that I'm going to also give with the die cuts. You're going to get a um, die cut of the suitcase in white cardstock and you're going to use this as your template. So. As you can see here in this sample here, I covered it with the design paper and you can see the perforated lines are gone. So this is where you bring the template in. So you're going to fold 
it at the end where the perforated lines are and fold it like this. Then you're just going to match it up with the suitcase. Okay, line it up, make sure it's all nice and straight. And you're just going to take a pencil and you're just going to mark the bottom and then the top on both sides. And that's what I did here. You can see those little pencil marks. Okay, and that's what you're going to use as your guide because when you put the box on top, it fits right perfectly in. So again, that's how you're going to line it up like that. You'd see that. And again, that's what I was doing when I was creating this. I was marking it um, to fit in between those perforated lines. Okay, so just to let you know, and then now if you're going to use red line tape, I would recommend to put red line tape on it first before you build the box. Um, but because this is um, cardstock and it's not really sturdy, I'm just going to adhere it onto the die cut of the suitcase. But normally I would add it onto the bottom of the box. So let's go ahead and cover this here. And then we're going to go to make sure I'm all the way to the edge here, like so. Okay, now the box doesn't go all the way to the end of the top. Okay, so I'm just going to not go all the way to the end. Okay. So when we place the box, actually let me just add one in the middle here. So when we place the box, we're going to line it from the bottom. And again, it's in between those perforated lines. Make sure that it's all nice and lined up. You can tell when you turn it over, that's nice and straight, okay? We're just going to go ahead and press that down, make sure it's all nice and secured onto the suitcase. Okay, and you can see here, see how it's not all the way to the end? Um, okay, so that's what that looks like. Okay, now we're going to take this piece here, this 4x8 piece that we fold in half, and we're going to add adhesive to both of these sides right here. So again, you want to make sure it's all nice and covered, like so. So make sure you get to the edges. You can use, you know, score line tape if you want to as well. Again, it just depends on what you are putting um, on or inside the suitcase. You don't have to put a mini album. You can, you know, fill the suitcase with um, wonderful scrap goodies and send it to a friend. It would be a really nice gift to give. So now we're going to take this and place it on the bottom portion of the box. Okay, so we're just going to place that in there. I want to make sure it's all nice and lined up. going to press that down. You can use your bone folder if you want. I just use my nails. Okay. Now we're going to take the other die cut and again turn it over where it's the inside of the die cut and we're going to line it up. So you're going to flip it like this and again you're going to line it within those perforated lines at the end and just make sure that it's all nice and lined up. Or what you could do is you could just turn it over if you want. Do either way. Whatever works for you. And then just open it up like this and then just press it down. And you could see if you're within the lines too. Okay, so it looks like that. And then you could see how it makes the suitcase already. Okay, now you're going to take that other piece that we made and you're only going to add adhesive to one side. So let's go ahead and add 
again to the edge. And then cover this side here. I'll put some right here too. Okay. Now you're going to place that right here. Now, as you can see, like I had mentioned earlier, it's not, the box is not all the way to the top. So there is these, um, the last perforated lines. At the very tip of those lines is where you're going to line up this um, piece right here, okay? So the fold is facing towards you and the adhesives underneath. And then you're just going to line it at the very top of that perforated lines right there. So it, you know, matches up nicely. And then again, just press it. That's what I do, like this. Okay. And then it just closes. And then you got yourself a suitcase. So really nice and quick and easy to, to make. And these are really fun um, to decorate. And it makes a really um, wonderful gift to give to somebody. And you know, summer is coming up, so that's, you know, vacation time, and it makes it just a really great um, gift for yourself or for someone um, that's going on a vacation. So again, the die cuts are available on my blog and the links down below. So thank you everyone for watching. Bye.